destiny created two paths. For Broncos Pro Bowl tight end Julius Thomas, his athletic talents revealed two destinations, basketball or football. My dad played football in college. Um, my, my dad and my grandfather both had uh, season tickets um, at the Raiders, so it was something that I got to do with the men in my life that I looked up to. Playing overseas basketball, that was something that, you know, I figured that I could do if, I, if, if football didn't work out for me. Thomas grew up in Stockton, California. As he entered Toke High School in the nearby city of Lodi, Thomas wanted to follow his father's footsteps. But it was his mother who altered his athletic future. My mom didn't want me to play when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Which mom wants to see her son out there getting hit? My dad would try to encourage me a little bit, you know, towards my junior, senior year to, to go out there and, and try and play football. He's like, you know, what? it's tough to get a scholarship for basketball, man. If you play football, I think you get a better chance of getting a scholarship. Uh, fortunately for me, I still ended up uh, getting a scholarship. Thomas earned a basketball scholarship to Portland State where head coach Tyler Geving noticed a special skill on the hardwood. When it comes to rebounding, I think you, you have to have a, you know, relentless effort, you know, have that attitude that I'm going to get every single offensive rebound. Thomas fighting for it underneath in the foul. And that's what Julius possessed. After averaging nearly 11 points and six rebounds per game his senior season, Thomas still had one year of eligibility left and his rebounding skills caught the eye of first-year Portland State football coach, Nigel Burton. Being a basketball player, the biggest thing is you always use your hands to catch a ball. Rebounding does help in tracking the football and understanding that you gotta grab the ball with both hands. Uh, you know, talking to football coaches, they, they look for people that catch the ball with their hands. And uh, you know, there's no way to rebound with your arms. You gotta be able to go up there and, and extend the hands and pull it down. So you go to Coach Burton, and what do you tell him? What's your sales pitch for him to put you on the team? I was like, you know, uh, I've always been wanting to play football. The last coach of staff that was here told me that, you know, if I didn't use my red shirt year, I'd have a year left, and they'd love for me to play. His ability to position himself to go get a football, um, obviously being a post player, keeping the ball above your head, things that help with those jump ball situations, you know, that skill definitely transferred uh, to his ability to, to be a big play receiver. How tough were those first few practices? Well, it was extremely tough because, you know, I, I thought I was going out there to play wide receiver. And then the first day of practice, the tight ends coach is like, uh, Julius, you're with us. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm going with you guys. Tight end's a whole different uh, position than receiver. If you've ever seen a deer on ice, that's kind of what he looked like at first. Uh, had to kind of understand that you can't break on a football field the way that you do on, a, on the hardwood. Coach Burden said, you know what, I think if you play a tight end, you can create mismatches, and you got to trust me on this. And I trusted him, and, and it worked out. Thomas compiled 453 yards at tight end during his year playing college football. But his athletic transition from basketball to football caught the eye of Broncos executive vice president of football operations, John Elway. You know, we knew he was a basketball player, but we've seen it in several guys that that transition had happened before. So there's no question when you see a guy that uh, has a toughness to play football, you know, you think you can make that transition because of their athletic ability coming out of basketball. We just thought that, uh, you know, he was a guy that had tremendous upside. To me, he's just scratching the surface right now. 